What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing a really easy way for you to do keyword research for your low content books using just a free tool. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you all the tips, tricks and strategies that I've learned to help me make passive income here online so go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos also if you're serious about low and no content book publishing then check out that link down in the description below to go to the lcb vault within here i add brand new trainings every single week on everything I'm doing to increase my royalties. You can also get there by going to the lcbvault.com. So, if you're tight on a budget or you've literally just started low content and no content book publishing, and you want to do keyword research and you don't want to spend any money, then stay tuned and finish watching this whole video because I'm going to show you the most simplest way for you to do keyword research using a free tool. Now, the tool that I'm talking about is AMS Suggestion Expander. This is literally the only tool that you need. Now, there's lots of different keyword tools out there. They all work. There's loads of ways to do keyword research. This is one of the easiest and most simple ways that you can do the research. So I highly recommend going and getting this Chrome extension. It's completely free and it shows you all the keywords related to the search term that you type into the Amazon search bar. So again, this is literally the only tool that you need if you're just getting started. See, the good thing about this business is you can start completely with free tools. Then when you start earning some royalties, some money, reinvest that back into your business to get better tools. Anyway, let me sh show you how you can literally use this tool to find a bunch of keywords. So let's go for the nurse niche. So I'm going to type in nurse gifts. Now with that Chrome extension, I've already got it installed. I've had it ever since I started. We can see all these keywords that it's pulled up. And all these keywords are, are the keywords that Amazon gives you. So it pulls up all your standard ones, which are just here. All the keywords before your search term just here. Well, just here. And then all the keywords after that search term as well. So, oh, and then we also have other. So just using this, you can type in your niches into Amazon and find loads and loads of keywords, related keywords, which you can then use in your back end of your book. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So all I've typed in is nurse gifts. It's got nurse gifts, the one we typed, for women, bulk, for men, women funny, ideas, nursing student, under five dollars, funny, personalized, we got male nurse gifts, funny nurse gifts, thank you nurse gifts, personalized nurse gifts, and the list goes on. So all these are our keywords. So what I would now do, I tend to use spreadsheets, but I'm just going to use a notepad because it's easier. Let me just do that again. So we got male nurse gifts, funny nurse gifts, and thank you nurse gifts. So let's type that in. So male, male nurse gifts, thank you nurse gifts. What else was there? So let's do that again. Funny. So let's type that one in. Funny nurse gifts. And then I would just keep doing this. I would start typing things related to nurses, nurse gifts, if that's the niche that I am in. You would do this with any type of niche that you are wanting to do the research on. We're just using nurse as an example. We could also do nurse 
not hernals, nurse journals. So with that, there's no other related keywords, but this is a keyword in itself. Now, a top tip is when you're typing in your search terms just here, if it auto populates, that means other people are searching that search term on Amazon. So with nurse journals, it's auto populated. So that means there are people actually searching that. If we do something like nurse pigs which doesn't actually make sense it's coming up with pins so let me try something else nurse chair oh there is actually a nurse chair okay so let's do um nurse dog costume a nurse dog costume oh my god so let me do um let me think for a second nurse nope so there's, there's so many things with nurses. Anyway, the point is, if you type something into the search term or into the search bar and it doesn't auto populate, that means no one is actually searching for that search term. So anyway, we've taken away GIFs. We now have just nurse. So we got GIF for nurse, registered nurse. So registered nurse is a keyword as well, but you'd want to do something like registered nurse and now we got all these keywords for this as well. So we got shirt, accessories, badge. So accessories is a good one. I would type that into here, into my list. Then let's take a look again. We got badge, gifts, car decor or decal, books. So registered nurse books probably could fall under a journal or a notebook. So I would take that one. Then I would just start going through every single keyword so we did the registered nurse so let's go back to nurse type that in and then we have nurse coloring book so that is actually a good one and that's a whole niche in itself where you could actually go and create a nurse coloring book now what you can also do is just start with your niche so we got the niche which is nurse then we can do space and q so we'll go through every letter on the keyboard or in the alphabet so we can find related keywords or search terms. So this team shirt, quilt, quilt blanket, quotes, quotes, wall decor. And I'd go through these finding the related search terms that make sense to actually use in my back end keywords on that book. So I do Q and then W. So we got watch, week gifts, watches for women. Obviously, something like watches for women wouldn't be very good to use on a book. So I wouldn't use things like that. Then we go to E and then I'd go through essentials, earrings, earrings for women, equipment. We could possibly use that for the book keywords. And then we would go through to the R. And I would do this in the niche that I wanted to find the keywords in. I would also do it with gifts so nurse gifts and then i would do q so we got nurse gifts quilt and then wine glass wine women watch with prayer and then i'd go to e and i'd just keep going through doing real in-depth keyword research to find all related keywords in that niche to my book that I can use. So this tool, if you haven't got any money and you want to do things completely for free, is the best tool that you can get. Now what I'll do, I'll leave a link for the AMS suggestion expander down in the description below so it's easier for you to check out. Now as you can see from what I just showed you, keyword research doesn't have to be complicated. Now this method which I just showed you is how I got started. That was over 18 months ago now. So when I first started I used completely free tools for absolutely everything and AMS Suggestion Expander is the main tool 
that I used to do my keyword research and it's still relevant to this day. Now, like I said, what I suggest you doing is just using completely free methods for this business. Then once you start producing cash flow and you've got some royalties coming in, start investing that money into paid tools. Now, with me personally, I do my keyword research loads of different ways. Now, I still do this way, which i just shown you. Then I use other tools like Book Bolts, book scout tool and loads of other different ways as well just so I can find lots of different keywords related to my niche but again this is one of the most simple ways that you could do keyword research it's really simple it's not over complicated and anybody can do this now I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up go and hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.